Welcome back to Gandhi. Let's continue. After a small fix, I should move one of these sepoys back here to Rajputana because, well, I've got a protest here and they cannot leave a space with a protest. Right, so all of these guys are here. Everything is set up. It's time to do operation and special activity. But first, let's see what card 33 is all about. Flag Satyagra defies British. Card 33. The Raj government had made it a crime to display nationalist symbols, which of course made it easy to participate in civil disobedience simply by flying any nationalist flags. The tricolor spinning wheel flag, first proposed by Gandhi in 1921, gained prominence when it was displayed en masse in Nagpur in 1923 during the flag Satyagra. I see that's the photo of the event there. They're flying that flag. Let's do this thing. We're going to do Operation and Special Activity, and our Special Activity is going to be... Yeah, we're going to start with Special Activity. We're going to be Negotiate. Space with Congress activists. No Raj control, not selective operations. First, remove any protest marker. Shift Restraint plus one, and then remove the Muslim State marker and set the place to Neutral Space. Restraint plus one. Remove the state marker. And set the space to neutral. Recalculate. Two, six. Okay. Yes, I kind of shot myself in the foot with uh, all this nonsense. What's happening here? Um, okay, something is happening in West Bengal, which I cannot explain. Oh, by the way, uh, Raj gets control now. And that sucks, but that's the rules. Uh, maybe we should start putting the Raj down. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Okay, how can I do this? Well, I got restraint at 4, which is actually very convenient for me. I'm... Do I want to pull out my people out of... I think we should rally. Just so that uh, we are not here when um, shit goes down. And maybe demonstrate? Ooh. Okay, let's try demonstrate. How are we going to demonstrate? Okay, this is free. This is going marching here is going to be free. Or do I wait? Do I stay here and take out this state next turn? I might not have a chance to take out this state next turn, and uh, given how much Raj there is here, I think they will probably take it out themselves. So let's move out. Let's get two, two people to Rajputana. And one to United Provinces, who's going to flip over. And now... Yeah, we're going to leave this League activist to deal with all of those sepoys. That's, uh, that's uh, fine by me. Here, I could... Do we have protest markers left? Actually, no, we don't have any protest markers left, and because the restraint is so high, uh, these two are actually over the limit, 3 and 4. So we can't start any protests here, but... We can... set ourselves up to start a protest, so we're going to march here. So how much have I used? I up to restraint. Uh, this is one is free. One, two... Do I want to march anywhere else? Okay. 
three. Orissa, Bihar, Rajputana, United Provinces, and Bombay Presidency. Okay, we're, we're changing our locations, we're preparing for next round of protests. Oh, and by the way, if anyone, in, say, tries to do something in East Bengal and arrests Gandhi, well, we'll be here, ready to deal with it. I mean, we'll be ready to place protests in beneficial spaces. Alright, that's done. What is the League going to do? Event is effective. Is event effective for the League? Remove one adversary pieces, basis last not Gandhi, then release up to five activists from jail to available. Okay, it's going to remove some adversary pieces. And that's it, three spaces, three removed pieces. And there are no activists. Oh, wait. Does it say your activists? Not sure. I think they're supposed to be treated as a single faction. Five activists from jail. I got an activist. They got some pieces removed. That's nice. Okay. That was the event. Next card, please. Aha, card 21. Card 21, Bhagat Singh frustrates the empire. Bhagat Singh was a revolutionary fighter who had perhaps a bigger impact on the independence movement after his death than during his life. In 1928, Singh and other members of the Hindustan Socialist Republican Association, Card 44, killed a British police officer, John Saunders. A year later, Singh was arrested for the Central Assembly bombing, Card 19 and while in custody, was convicted of the earlier murder. He was hanged in 1931. To this day, Singh remains a controversial figure, remembered by some as revolutionary martyr, by others as a terrorist. Alright, let's see what the Raj is going to do. It's not a critical event for anyone. And the Raj is... actually, wait, it's first the revolutionaries. The revolutionaries are... They're going to do something, and let's see what. The next card is 6 plus guerrillas in India. Yes. Infiltrate to replace one adversary. Ho oh ho. And just like that, uh, infiltrate activity subverted a sepoy, turned him into a, a sepoy cube, and turned it into a terrorist cell. Uh, by the way, they, they can do it to other pieces too, like ours. Which kind of indicates that our non-violent movement is not really that entirely committed to the whole non-violence thing. Okay, they've infiltrated. Die roll less than number of available guerrillas. Well, less or equal. Okay, let's hope I don't roll a six. Roll a two. Okay. What happens now? Rally. Place... Bases. Fine. Drop a base. Get some victory points. And do I get to rally anywhere else? What's the maximum number? Three. No, I don't get to rally anywhere else. Well, that, that was kind of disappointing. But they do get one gorilla out of play. Operation Special Activity... Man, the, the revolutionaries are really not doing much. Uh, they're having really bad luck with this. Normally, the thing is, their all of their activities cost, well, apart from unrest, cost uh, one point of resources, and they get... they get enough. 
and they can get more using aid. Uh, so resources usually should not be a major problem for revolutionaries. For the Raj, yes. Uh, for the Raj, each operation costs this number. Restraint. Okay, so the revolutionaries have done their thing. The Raj is now going to... It's not going to be first eligible on the next card, so it's going to do... It's going to do the event, if it's effective. Is it effective? Activate all gorillas in Punjab, then remove one gorilla for every cube there. <laughs> Game. It's like you know what is happening. Activate all gorillas in Punjab, remove one for every cube. But only gorillas. And just like that. The revolutionaries lost all their good presence. All their uh, underground presence in Punjab. That sucks. Sir Michael O'Dwyer assassinated. Let's see. Card 42. Sir Michael O'Dwyer assassinated. O'Dwyer was a lieutenant governor of Punjab in 1919 when the Amritsar massacre occurred. Card 9. Afterwards remarking that General Dyer's actions that day had been correct. Many held him responsible for the massacre, including Udham Singh. In 1940, Singh travelled to London, cornered O'Dwyer outside Caxton Hall and shot him dead. They've got a long reach, those revolutionaries. Right, the League is next. What is it going to do? It's going to... Yeah, it's going to do Operation Special Activity. Any available protest markers? Not anymore, no. Any activists in spaces without protest? Yes. Uh, wait, I should swap. <laughs> I should switch to a different card. Any underground guerrillas in Muslim spaces? Well, yes, one. Die roll less or equal available plus Muslim League activists in jail. I could roll it, but yes, it is. Rally. Place bases where Muslim League activists exceed unity. You don't exceed unity anyway, guys. All right, that was Rally, and now we... Oh, right, not, not quite all of Rally. And I don't like that they've got only two pieces left here. Th they can actually be used by us to make Unity go up. That's useful at the end of the game, but I guess uh, this is not... They, we might run out of this. Out-of-play out activists. Can they negotiate to place a Muslim state? Not really, no. Persuade to activate guerrillas using remove. You can actually do this. Remove adversaries. Well. Can they persuade Gandhi? Is Gandhi persuadable? Remove one active piece. Yes, they can technically remove Gandhi. I think I think you're not supposed to be able to do this. I'm going to go with uh, Gandhi is not removable because Gandhi is also not removable by assassinate. And, uh, you know, he has very specific r rules about him, and they're all on the player's aid for the British Raj. The, the one faction that is allowed to remove Gandhi, and run Gandhi never goes into... Never goes into available, never goes into out of play, he, he can only go to jail, and I don't think the League is going to do that. By the way... 
Two pieces. Gandhi. A base. So these are two active pieces. Okay, there is no control here. Aha. That's actually a nice side effect. And would you look at that? The Raj is not winning. See, the league can be helpful if you prevent it from winning. Right, next. Oh, is it our turn? Is it our turn? Yes, it is our turn. We could do an event. And let's see what the event is. I remove one troop or three sepoys each from up to two spaces with unrest or protest markers. Hmm. Sadly, there are no unrest or protest markers here. That would have been very handy. We could do something naughty here. Or here. I'm not going to remove anyone from Punjab, that would be too convenient. Uh, Bengal, no. Okay, I'm going to remove a troop. And then I'm going to remove... Why not? I could remove these, but I'm going to leave them for the revolutionaries to deal with. Oh, crap. Hey, card 45, Gandhi calls for liquor boycott. I think we're finally out of the woods with the cards that give everything to the League, and we're starting to see some cards about uh, the combo, the battle with the Raj and with the British. Card 45. Aha. Gandhi calls for liquor boycott. Refusing to purchase British goods as a form of non-cooperation was a powerful non-violent tool to bring pressure on the Raj government. During the campaigns of both 1921 and 1930, Gandhi called for a nationwide boycott of British cloth and liquor. Appealing to shared virtues of abstinence and purity, the liquor boycott was both a symbolic act and a serious drain on excise revenue. Huh. Who is our first faction? First faction is revolutionaries. They're going to do a thing. Any super provinces with no unrest and no guerrillas? Yeah, still lots of them. Die roll less or equal number of available guerrillas. You've got so many you can't even imagine. Rally. We get to continue. And again, we have to stop. Next, infiltrate to replace one adversary. Let's see. It's amazing, right? There was such a crowd of sepoys in Punjab, and now half of them are gone, and the other half is now terrorists. Wonderful. Punjab is a magical place. Okay, is the Raj going to play an event? Well, um... According to the playbook... For non-player Raj, this event is not effective. Meaning it's actually not going to play it as the event. Look at this. Let's see. Select one faction to be ineligible through the next card. Active faction remains eligible. Um, you know, yeah, a player could have done a thing, especially with this card coming up. A human player would have 
possibly struck a deal with either the League or the Congress. Yeah, so do, do, I, do I take out the League or do I not? But uh, the Raj is not going to do anything. Well, I mean, it's not going to do anything effective, it's going to do a limited operation. Any underground guerrillas in support spaces? No, you don't have much support spaces. Any two pop provinces with no Raj control? Uh, yes, die roll less than the number of available troops. I don't know why I'm rolling, I just like the process. Okay, deploy. Raj still sucks. We are still in in not a very good position, but we're not actively losing. Okay, let's make this the last one. Card sixty four. Communal award solidifies caste. The second round table conference, card 27, established separate electorates for different religious and caste groups in India. Gandhi objected to the legal separation of untouchables and undertook his epic fast, which lasted six days. The hunger strike ended when Gandhi and B. R. Ambedkar, card 63, agreed in the Pune Pact that depressed classes would be granted guaranteed seats in the Indian legislature, but would not constitute a separate electorate. Okay, the league is going to play this. We're going to play this event, and it's going to replace three Congress activists with... Well, it's a league, it's going to replace it with its own activists. And shift to unity minus one. This is bad. Okay, where is it going to replace us? Let's see. Now, they replaced uh, the the league replaced two of my guy, two of my guys in Rajputana, but they had only one piece in available, which actually means that it just removes my piece without replacing it with anything. The bot does not. The bot is not allowed to remove its pieces from the map to plug them somewhere where it needs them. I am, but the bot isn't. So that was the event, and is there anything I can do to counter it? I can't counter it, but I can... I can do a Satyagra. Yes, I'm going to do a Satyagra, because Satyagra does... See, uh, re remove unrest and any protest markers. And for our... Well, we cannot place any protests, we can keep marching, though. We can keep marching... Right here. We've got, have we got a man in the city? We've got a man in the city, that could be very useful. Unfortunately, I don't have any protest markers, because, you know, early in the game you've got these activists just sitting in cities, they're not going to convert cities to your side, but you could use them to, um, at some point, lock down Raj forces, fresh after deployment. Not today, though. Okay, we're staying in the United Provinces, we are... moved... We don't have we don't have too many people, but at the same time we don't have too many spaces to rally. So let's just let's stick to this. Independence fighters take up arms. Low lumber card. 
and the Raj is going to do just a regular plain operation without any special activity, so no govern again, because it will try to prevent the revolutionaries from doing... Well, look at this. From doing this, add five guerrillas to West Bengal and East Bengal. That's not happening. So, we're going to leave it like this. I don't think I fucked up too badly this time. And next time... How many cards? Uh, 17. Yeah, we might see another campaign round next time. Let's hope not.